date today. I want the rose on today's date. I wouldn't mind a kiss either. Cheers to being Ben's perfect match. The date card said, are we the perfect match? To think that could be me. I feel like a million bucks. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited. I cannot wait. Yeah, I can't wait to see Ben. Yay. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Oh my gosh. Hi. Welcome to the lab. I know you're looking for Ben. Yeah. yeah. So follow me. It, can it, does it move? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is so weird. There's this robot and my mind is spinning. Hey, give me a little help with this door. I don't have any arms right now. All right. Welcome. Oh my gosh. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Ben looks super nerdy, but it is super sexy. Wow, I can't even talk. Oh, hi. Hey. There's like a lot of people in like white coats sitting around on computers and then thinking about like love and being a good match. Like I can't put it together. Don't put the blonde on this date. <laughs> I'm no expert on love, so I brought in some reinforcements. Dr. Love. And his team uh, will be helping us out today. One of the things I want to get out of this is to see if science can actually help me find love. I've always kind of gone off of feelings and emotion, but it might be nice if data could lead me to the right woman. We're going to measure you in a series of experiments to give you a numerical score from 1 to 10. If it comes down to science of proving whether I have feelings for Ben, like 100%, like I'll pass, like with flying colors. Come on in, you guys. I got the first impression, Rose, but I wouldn't mind some professional telling me, oh yeah, you're right, there is chemistry. First part of your brain we're gonna test is called the visual cortex. It's the area that processes information coming in from your eyes. I don't know much about science. I'm not like, I'm it's not okay, a, I don't really know much science about science. Person. I'm not very smart. The way this technology works is you'll see what they're fixating on, okay. and we'll see how much time they spend on that. We're putting the women through some retinal tracking tests today to see exactly what they look at first. Oh, oh. look at that. Uh, they're forever, huh? One picture has me versus Sean Lowe. I was watching that one real careful. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Please come back to your bachelor. Nailed it. Yeah. All right, this is experiment two. We're going to find out if the odors you give off oh. are attractive to Ben. Let's go. Ben is supposed to smell all of us, not your normal first date. Are you excited for me to smell you? I can't believe this is happening. I'm Lila Boy. I cannot possibly smell cabbage just because I haven't eaten cabbage for two weeks. Mm, they're close. So smell is the most primitive sense. It tells us about attraction. It's very flowery. Step to your right, bend down to her waist. Okay. So there are glands right near your reproductive organs that we're gonna try to smell. Almost uh, beachy. Girl number three. I think chemistry, it's number one thing between a relationship. Oh, very flowery. And if you get that, you can get everything else. Oh boy, this is pheromones. A fruit aroma. Isn't that interesting? Yeah, so... She's like a giant raspberry. Very sweet. Mm. My heart wants Ben like really bad, and apparently my smell does too. And last one. This is a little more sour. What? Like, I don't think I smell sour. It's the shirt, it's not me. Sweet and sour, but that's yeah, great in Chinese bad. food. Chinese food? He didn't really like the way you smell. Yeah, it's a bummer. We have one more experiment. We'll be able to measure, is your body creating chemicals that tell us that you're a good long-term match? So we'll start with Amanda. The rest of the girls, if you can go to the waiting room, we'll call you out in a couple minutes. Oh, wow. What? You took a shirt off? This is like a lot of pressure just because like what happens if you're not a perfect match with Ben? Is he gonna send you home? I'm curious to see if, you know, the thermal energy, I guess, yeah. changes with yeah. another girl. Oh. <gasps> No. So we're seeing all this red and stuff, and I'm like, whoa, 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 what does red mean? Please lie back on the bed. <gasps> oh my gosh. People were freaking out. 
You could see it on their face. I mean, it just like, the mood totally changed. Put your hand on each other's hearts, please. <laughs> oh my gosh. What? Oh, he's touching her boob. I listen to people worry and I'm like, valid point, but I'm incredibly confident in our relationship. So there's nothing wrong with working with science a little bit here. I think this is really valuable. I mean, this gives Ben a chance to see if some of us are maybe more fit for him than others. I'm feeling good. Odor is good between us. The odor is strong. Welcome to the lab. Hi. I'm gonna keep this streak going. I'm anticipating some unhappy ear faces. This is so weird. Oh, I thought they were gonna kiss. Oh my god, I thought they were making out. How am I not supposed to kiss you right now? I thought, I can't get that close to Ben and not kiss him. How do you not? How do you not? Come on, you're gonna make me wait. There's just sparks everywhere. Because people are watching. The results are in. And unfortunately, one of you wonderful ladies got the lowest score. So I didn't do that great on the smell test. But just from like how I was feeling and from what I felt he was feeling, I think the results will be really good. The lowest score was 2.42 out of 10. Sam. <laughs> Are you kidding me? You're trying to marry a guy, and a doctor says, hey, P.S., you're not compatible at all. That would be really embarrassing. We had a very high score for the highest person, 7.45. And that score goes to Olivia. Your data were spectacular. Something really special happened between you two. I was very confident the results would turn out the way that they did. It definitely sucks just because Olivia did get the first impression rose and she just won the love contest. Let's go. Let's go. It's like Olivia against the rest of the house, you know? Like, that's what it feels like right now.